today i am going to introduce a new concept in class 9 that is circles in primary class onwards you are you are studying about the circles and the properties of circles and different elements of circles so in class 9 we are introducing some theorems related to these properties you know the all the elements radii uh, diameter chords are semi circles there are so many elements are there and sector segment and now all these properties we are converting into some theorem which is useful for doing our word sum and daily life situations so here i will explain which are the main important concept uh, connected to this theorem and the first theorem is and this is i am showing lab activity this is a practical situation now we are proving all these theorems using our congruence congruence means congruence of triangles congruence of triangles means in the circle we are making two triangles and we are proving their corresponding parts are equal maybe that will be the chords or the uh, what is it radii of that particular uh, part of the circle so the first theorem is suppose the two chords you know what is a chord chord is the distance between any two points on a circle that means and you know the longest chord that is passing through the center that is the diameter so here the first concept is if you draw any two equal chords so here i have drawn two equal chords so you can see that this is the chord and this is the another chord and both are two equal chords and this is the center and the first concept is these two equal chords makes equal angles at the center two equal chords um what is it formed equal angles at the center and this is the practical situation that is a lab situation how we are doing so we are drawing two equal chords and measuring and what is this angle and using protractor we will measure this angle and the same angle same degree measure we are getting if you take the other code also the other code also we are getting the same angle that is the first concept that is equal codes subtend equal angles at the center and see and suppose if you are taking two equal codes you are getting two triangles isn't it you are getting two triangles and using our congruence property we are proving these two triangles are congruent then we are getting cpcd that is our uh, required angles that is angles subtended at the center that is the first concept and this is the lab activity you can do it you can verify the situations using maths lab activity and the second property and what is the second property and related to uh, code only and uh, this theorem we can tell in converse way also if two uh, codes subtend equal angles at the center then we can say that these two codes are equal that is the converse the same way if you get a two equal angles at the center we measure the length of the code you will get both are equal and the next one is the code that is a very important thing and we can use apply in any work for doing problems and this is a code this is the center then if we draw a perpendicular distance if we draw a perpendicular distance from the center to the code if we draw a perpendicular distance from the center to the code after marking the center and code you measure the distance from the uh, one end of the point to the center and other end point of the center so you can see one important concept that will bisect and suppose this is 8 cm 
if you draw a perpendicular distance from the center to the core, you will get that will divide into 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter. And so here also we can apply congruence of a triangles. Uh, suppose if you are drawing like this, so you can uh, construct uh, one triangle here and we can construct another triangle here. And you are getting two triangles and prove the congruence property. You are getting CPCT that will be the bisect, bisecting the sides. This is the second concept. And here also we can do the converse. What is the converse? If, if the uh, distance from the center to the code bisect, suppose if you get a line is drawn from center to the code, we are not drawing perpendicular. Simply we are drawing a line from center to the code, which is the code. Then you measure this angle. This angle is always 90 degree. that it will be a perpendicular distance and that is the next lab activity and uh, the, the next uh, theorem uh, I want to say that uh, suppose and the next important theorem is also here when code is marked and you know uh, we have to talk about the uh, uh, sector sector of a circle. You know this is a major circle and uh, major sector and minor sector. And what is a sector? Sector means sector is the uh, region enclosed by the two radii and the corresponding arc. So this is the sector. And suppose I am taking and this is a minor sector. Minor sector means the two endpoints are beside this two radii. Two radii and this is the arc. Up to this, this is the minor sector. So the remaining portion is the major sector. So here the what the theorem uh, states that if uh, suppose if you take a, if you draw a code, a code and an arc is here, and suppose that code makes an angle at the center. So here I am taking the angle that is a 60 degrees come 